there's a little bit of variety in the way traffic lights are set up in Perth and let's go through it. So I tried a number of different ways of getting into the city and we can see here on uh, these two sets of lights on bike paths there were no uh, bicycle si signals but on this one coming in from another location there are in fact uh, bike signals. This one yes we have bike signals and pedestrian signals but I wasn't quite sure which way to go as I was supposed to go up onto the footpath and round here and back onto the bike path or the other way and you can see well I just thought I'm not going into traffic I'll try this. Lots of green paint and note the armadillos on the road that's what I call them and that thing. Um, a, a set of traffic lights at the head height of cyclists. What a good idea. More armadillos here or, or armoured turds if you want to call them I don't know and again on the left you can see on the pole there's a bike signal and that's just fantastic. I mean why do we need them way up in the air for, uh, for cyclists? That's good for drivers who want to see over trucks. And look at this, bike signal goes first, we get a three second head start, and then it goes green for cars. And, and this is on all these sets of lights, all the way down here to the Swan River. And you can see there the bike signal's gone green on the left there, and we've got our three second head start. And it's just nice to be able to get across the intersection before all the tradies and newts come blasting up behind you. Uh, you can see if you want to turn right, you can stop here and move right across the intersection. I think the only reason you have to stop here is uh, to let pedestrians go across, otherwise this could easily be just a straight through for cyclists never having to stop at the lights there. Now this is the one set of lights which absolutely didn't work, uh, if you like looking at the bell tower um, you can sit here for four minutes like I did and wait for the lights to change and they didn't and I just uh, highlighted that armadillo there on the corner because it was pretty smashed up and I think that was from um, trucks or something cutting this corner. And, uh, and ripping it up and it wasn't a comfortable place to stop here because a lot of these vehicles are going past fairly close and you might have noticed I moved back a little bit to see if I could trigger the uh, induction loops but you know they just didn't like me so in the end after four minutes I gave up went around the corner and pressed the, uh, the pedestrian uh, button thing and uh, within about 10 seconds got a green light and crossed over here and I'm going to where cyclists are supposed to go if you're waiting back there where I was. And this is Elizabeth Key, great part of the world. Now coming from another direction, I thought I would try out every single way to get into the city um, along this path. And you can see here, there's a, a bike signal and a pedestrian signal. So it's, you know, a bit of one, kind of half one, half dozen of the other. And it goes onto this red path, which funnily enough goes nowhere. Right, we'll come up a few hundred metres and we'll try the next one and uh, you can see you know there's a red path on the other side this is pretty typical of Perth that pedestrians and cyclists kind of treat red lights as advisory things not things you actually have to stop for um, because it's just not enough traffic uh, and I decided I wouldn't go across on the green because I noticed over here there was a cyclist only crossing so I came over here pressed the button and just thought I'd see what it's like to cross the road here and yes there is a bicycle uh, lantern there and yeah that didn't really take me anywhere. Anyway here we're coming back to have a look at this terrible crossing from the other direction you can see green paint, armadillos, it did detect me this time and off we went and we could get into the city quite happily. There's lanes like this uh, you know all around the CBD. So to summarise uh, bike signals at head height great idea, three second uh, advance kickoff for cyclists great idea Armadillos, uh, yeah, they kind of work, but I'm not sure how well they go with trucks. And some of the uh, kind of directional stuff is a little bit fuzzy. You know, it wasn't quite sure where to go, but over here people just ride on the footpath. So, you know, it's no biggie, that one. And uh, as long as there's not a lot of pedestrians around, not an issue. But I think some fantastic ideas that uh, New South Wales could adopt.